Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing an ear stretching video for you and just a brief history about my ears. I've had my ears pierced since I was like three, so about 15 years before I started stretching. I'm currently at an eight gauge and this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see, I hope you can. Um, and I'm just going to be go, uh, just going to do a video about how I stretch my ears. A little disclaimer, I'm not a professional. Uh, I am just somebody who stretches and has not had a problem yet. And uh, I educate myself as well as I can before I do. So before I start, I'm going to go wash my ears with some antibacterial soap and water. So now that you have your ears nice and washed, I'm going to just go ahead and take this drugstore vitamin E oil and lube up my ears a little bit and you want to massage your ears get them nice and warmed up. Oh, I never use this. I have to open it. We can cut this part out too. You can also use jojoba oil. Um, I would not recommend using tea tree oil though because it's really harsh on skin. So some people it might work okay but people with sensitive skin I think wouldn't work nearly as well. So just get a little bit of that in your fingers. It's really oily obviously, kind of messy. And just give your lobes like a nice massage, like warm them up. Definitely want blood flow in there. And then while you're at that, you can loop up the taper that you're going to be using. And in this case, it will be a six gauge taper. So here's just a little comparison. So here's the size comparison. Here's the eight gauge, which is what I was wearing. And then here's the six gauge. As you can see, it's quite a jump. I think it's the first full two millimeter jump when you start stretching from a regular earring size. So this one might hurt a little bit, but we'll see what happens. I've waited about five weeks or so since my last stretch. So this is what my ear looks like without anything in. The hole's not really big enough to see through yet, but it, it just kind of looks like a real big earring hole. So I'm going to take my taper and I'm going to keep it as straight as I can while I'm pushing it through. You don't want the end of it to come down or to come up when you're stretching. You want to keep it as straight as possible. Okay, I got that through. Oh god, that is not a pleasant feeling. Now for the other one. And this one's supposed to be my bad ear, so we'll see what happens. Oh my goodness. Try and get it so you can see. Ooh, yeah. All right, and that's through. Okay. Okay, so I got my tapers in. That was kind of a crappy jump. It wasn't really unbearable. Obviously, they're really red right now, but mine are usually red after a stretch. Like I said, I waited about five weeks since the last stretch, and I didn't really have any irritation or any pain. Um, there's no blood, so th that's okay. <laughs> um, and I'm going to wait and let my ears cool down and um, stop stinging for a little bit before I go ahead and put the eyelets in. 
Okay, so I've left my tapers in for probably like an hour and 15 minutes, actually kind of a long time to let my ears cool down a little bit, uh, get less red and less stingy. So now I'm going to put my uh, vitamin E oil on my eyelids and then I'm going to push them right through. Okay, so I'm just going to push the end of the eyelet on the end of the taper and just push them right through so that when I push the eyelet in, it's going to shove the taper out of my lobe. I'm going to keep it as straight as possible. Oh boy, that did not work. Now for the second year. Ooh, there we go. And voila. Okay, so I hope that that was helpful to some of you, or at least a little bit entertaining. <clears throat> That's quite amusing for me. Ow, that really hurt. Um, I'm gonna plan to continue these stretching videos as I decide to size up. As of right now, my goal size is a half an inch, so I have quite a few more of these to do. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or any suggestions on how to make this video better, leave it down in the comments below and subscribe.